Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your life on Captain.com. Today we're doing the top tweaks of the week in collaboration with ModMy.com. So be sure and go over and check those guys out. And as you can see on the screen here, we have a very awesome tweak up for you to look at called Sphere View. That is S P H E R E View. It's $3.99 and as you can tell it does some pretty awesome stuff it adds a scrolling dock and you can even turn your icons into a sphere and you can still they still open and close you can spread them apart and swipe that way you can do several different things with this actually uh, what we'll do here is we'll go into settings here and look around. I was going to see if I could see it on the actual sphere and show you how to open it. You just simply tap on it. Um, I don't want to take a great deal of time. Right down there it is. If you wanted to, you could just tap from right here and go straight into settings. That is the setting part of sphere view right here. And you got all this enable, disable stuff. You can change the icons from round. You can hide the labels. You can disable the dock. You can view the different settings. You have here notification apps, recent apps. You can hide different things here. And you got a blur option. So that's pretty much the gist of all of that down there in the actual settings itself. So. Uh, what we're going to have to do to go on is probably put this in disable mode and that will allow us to actually go back into regular view and then we can complete our video that way. So we'll be back after the respring. Now the next tweak we're going to be looking at here guys is pretty awesome too. What it does is it changes the actual wallpaper and lock screen each time that you go in to your device and that is called Walmart right here W-A-L-L -L. not the store it's the tweak and you can get this one free it won't cost you one penny and what it does is it allows you to set up your uh, actual wallpaper if you want to go into the settings here Walmart what I did is I went into the photo app and created a special folder just for my out here. Here it says choose album while and I got one named wallpapers and what I did is I just went in there and created a special album simply by just going in here and tapping the plus and we can name this one here. Uh, whatever we wanted to wallpaper well let's let's do this Walmart all right so if we wanted to just do that and then if we wanted to go back through all of the different things that we the different photos here I was just going to try to get up here to some of the ones we could choose pretty fast and just choose two or three of these and hit done and then go back into wall of uh, the folder I'm sorry the uh, tweak Walmart now we're going to choose the actual folder called Walmart and it'll only use the photos that's in that particular thing and you can actually blur add a blur effect on them if you want to we can turn that on and increase the strength a little bit just to see what that looks like and what it does. Alright, so now we'll go back out and as you can see, every time I lock my device, it changes the wallpaper, okay? I'm going to hit the lock button a couple times. You see it changed. Okay, I hit it again and it's got a little bit of a delay. Probably it takes it just a moment and you see it does that. Uh, that was wallpaper guys and it was free the next one is called sleeper this is 99 cents in big boss and what it does it allows you to navigate your alarms if you go into your alarms here we'll go to the clock app go to alarm 
and inside here you got some different things that you can set on this it's a little bit different now you got snooze time added in here uh, and it just allows you to navigate through your alarms a little bit better it says uh, you'll be presented with a familiar screen where you can change the time of the alarm the label if you have the snooze switch enabled you'll notice a new row uh, just like the other settings when you're adding an alarm the snooze time will only be saved or updated if you click save so pretty much it's self-explanatory uh, if you come in here you can see you got some different things that you can add uh, here's the snooze time it was talking about repeats still there different sounds effects that's called sleeper the next one we're going to be looking at here guys is called tinch t-i-n-t-c-h and what this one does here it allows you to add some different colors to your uh, tweak settings it says it's a simple yet dramatic tweak that enables colorization of the switches or toggles throughout iOS so if we go into our settings you see the little purple color there and the yellow down there that's coming through tinch and what I did is I set those by going into the tinch setting right here and if you wanted to change that color from that purple to let's say a blue now it'll be blue and it'll change this yellow uh, to something red all right I don't think it requires a respring but we'll see so now when we go in here to our settings you see now they're blue everything with, that we chose earlier it was purple in that place so those uh, see now it's red around the little uh, thin outlines are red and that's what we chose that's called tinch t-i-n ch next one is called switcher do not disturb and this one here is a little bit different too there's no options or anything to configure on this it just simply replaces your do not disturb flip switch with the the ringer one in your control center now what it does on the left side you know the little flip button on the top top left now when i flip that up and down you see i get that do not disturb symbol in the status bar when i flip it up it turns it off flip it down turns it on up turns it off down turns it off all it does is it changes the position of your do not disturb from there from allowing you to be able to use the physical switch itself and i think guys that's pretty much all of them that we were going to talk about we got one more here called cash clear this is by ryan patrick you know he's a, a well-known developer and this will allow you to improve the speed of your device very much so what it does it allows you to clear the cache under the usage setting on any of the app you go in just go to your usage settings by going to settings go to general go to usage and inside usage go to manage storage I hit iCloud and I should have hit st the, the other one all right here's the one we want here the storage one now here's documents and data you see that uh, we still are are in the wrong spot here it is storage right here so we go from usage we go general usage and then we go under storage go to manage storage and it'll populate this list and from here you can actually clear the cache like on Facebook now you see you get this little added option here instead of delete app reset app was used to be always in there now you get a clear app cache if I tap that it's going to clear all that cache from Facebook and it's going to save that memory and it gives you the amount of bytes that it actually reclaimed which you can see that's a great deal of, of uh, storage that it had tied up and if you do that you know like for for Twitter Facebook everything and messenger groups Google any of these apps that keep storage for your uh, cash you can 
remove it and, and speed your phone up, allowing it to run much smoother. So that's some pretty awesome tweaks this week. Grab them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that thumbs up, favorite, subscribe, and keep coming back.